Hello everyone, my name is Roshmi Patel and I'm here to present my SMU case study 1. So let's get started. The CEO and CFO of Budweiser company have hired us to do some analysis on beers and breweries to know the useful insights and current trends in the United States market. Our agenda is to perform analysis on existing craft breweries in United States, type of craft beers, addressing the missing values, median ABV and AIBU of each state, most alcoholic and most bitter beer, summary of ABV distribution, investigate the difference with respect to IBU and ABV between IPA and ale using the Canon classifier, extra insights that can be useful. Every state has at least one brewery, but some state dominates the craft breweries. Colorado has the highest number of breweries with a count of 47, and D.C., South Dakota, North Dakota, West Virginia are in the bottom four because they have only one brewery in the entire state. Other states with a high number of breweries are located somewhere in the coast and border of the United States. We saw that the data contained 100 different styles of beer, so we decided to classify them in different classes. We found that IPA and ale alone account for 64% of all the beers. Talking about the null values, visually it seems that IBU has a lot missing values. IBU had 1005 missing values, which was 42% of IBU provided, and ABV has 62 missing values, which is 2.6% of ABV provided. Thinking of to get better results, we replace the null values with the imputed mean. Note that no bitterness data was given for South Dakota, knowing that only one brewery was present in the entire state. When looking at the median ABV by each state, Washington DC has the highest median ABV with 6.25% and Utah has the lowest with 4% and all other states has median ABV in between 5-6%. to when looking at the median IBU, by each state, West Virginia has the highest median IBU with 57.5 and Kansas has lowest with 22 and all other states has the median IBU in mid-40s. The most alcoholic beer was found in Colorado at Upsla Brewing Company, named Lee Hill Series Volume 5 Belgian Style Quadruple Ale, which had ABV of 12.8% and no IBU score was given. The most bitter beer was found in Oregon at Astorio Brewing Company named Bitter Bitch Imperial IPA with an IBO of 138 and ABV of 8.2%. Looking at summary of ABV, visually the data seems to be approximately normal with some right skewness. It seems that IPA mostly contribute to the right which indicate higher alcohol content in it when the null values was replaced by the mean. The median increased from 0.056 to 0.057 and the other statistics being the same. There seems to be a positive relationship between IBU and ABV, indicating that more is the alcohol content, more is the bitterness of the beer. When the null values was replaced with the mean, the variation seems to have a decrease from 45% to 27%. There may be many reasons for the decrease, but one of the reasons is the presence of non-alcoholic beer in the data. Based on the IBU-ABV relationship, we build a machine learning model using the KNN classifier that has an accuracy of 85% at k equals 5, which means that the ability of a model to classify the beer as an IPA or as an ale is 85%. The model has a sensitivity of 88% and the specificity of 81%. Now looking at the relationship between IBU and ABV, specifically for IPA and AD. Visually we can see that IPA wins the race. It has approximately 41% variation explained, while AL has only 24% variation explained. The graph suggests that IPA are surely better than ale. Then we took some external data and did some analysis and found that California has the highest alcohol consumption 
per brewery count which is 1.624 million gallons and Wyoming has the lowest alcohol consumption. The Colorado has the highest number of breweries but the alcohol consumption per brewery is just 0.272 million gallon. The other state seems to have alcohol consumption in between 0.026 to 0.05 million gallons per brewery. The top five states account for 42% of the alcohol consumption per brewery of all the other states and the bottom five is with just 1.2% alcohol consumption. In conclusion, we can say that since the IPA and ale dominate all other craft beers, Budweiser can focus on IPA and ale. If Budweiser wants to increase their market share by tapping into craft brew market, they should focus on the top five states with the greatest alcohol consumption per brewery, which make, or make up over 40% of the total alcohol consumption. Further studies and recommendations are review for various sales data for top craft beers and review the brewery and alcohol laws for the state. Lastly, I want to thank you for watching my presentation. Stay safe, stay healthy in this pandemic. Bye-bye.